Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am so excited it is not even funny because we are filming one of my favorite series that I have not done in over a year now, recreating my followers makeup looks. I asked you guys over on my Instagram to tag me in your most artistic, colorful, and creative makeup looks and in today's video, I'm gonna try my best to recreate them. So, if you guys wanna see me create this look, this look, and this look, keep on watching. I love doing these recreating my follower makeup looks videos. They are so much fun to film, but they also are so much time and so much effort. So if you guys wouldn't mind, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up down below. It only takes a quick second and really helps me out. And of course, make sure you click that subscribe button to come join the family if you have not already. All right, you guys, so for look number one, the second that I was tagged in this photo, I saved it to my Instagram right away. And I knew that this was going to be one that I wanted to recreate today. And this is from the artist Wonder Limon. Her name is Olina and she's a Ukrainian makeup artist. And look at how just gorgeous, beautiful this makeup look is. Oh my God, it is so cool and graphic. And the reason why I selected it is because it reminds me so much of Euphoria. I feel like I could 1000% see Maddie wearing this look with like a gorgeous outfit to like a fun little house party. And obviously season two just premiered, which we can definitely talk about a little bit while we're getting glam, but I was obsessed with this makeup look and I definitely need to put it on my face today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so the base is already on as you guys can kind of see. I tend to skip it in these videos just because I do pretty much the same routine every single time with maybe a few little switches here and there, but we're going to be mainly focusing on the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in. Come a little closer. Come a little closer, baby, baby. Basically, we were doing like a graphic, gorgeous little eyeliner situation here. And I honestly don't really know how I want to achieve this, but I do know that I want to start off by sketching out the lines before I go in with like black. Once you start putting black on there, it's really hard to kind of fix anything. Basically, this starts from like the lower little lash line here. Perfect. Okay. So that's like what the little shapey is kind of looking like. Okay. That's actually looking very symmetrical. Okay. I think this is what we need so far. So now we're gonna go in basically with some nice browns and start like smoking this out and creating some dimension in there. This is just my palette and I'm gonna dip into some little tea, just a dark little brown shade up in here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna basically like start smoking out this brow liner. So while we're doing this, we need to discuss Euphoria season two so far. I am literally obsessed with it. I have been waiting two years for it to come out and it is finally here. So let's discuss. And first of all, spoiler alerts ahead, okay? I cannot stand those people that are like, oh my God, you're talking about this, I haven't watched it yet. First of all, it's already been out for two weeks. Watch it, catch up, not my problem. The first episode, holy crap. I could not believe the amount of things that happened like already episode one. And I'm just like so excited to see what the heck happens this upcoming season. The literal opening scene of episode one, let's talk about the grandma shooting that man in his, you know what? That was scarring. Oh my God, Cassie in the bathtub with Maddie at the party. That that meme has been all over Twitter and I'm obsessed with that one too. Just like so many crazy cinematic moments already happening and we're only two episodes in. It kind of, Trevor, I was thinking the same thing. It's giving very origami swan. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have like that kind of laid down, I am gonna grab another little fluffy brush, just this random little Sigma brush. And I'm gonna grab a like slightly, oh, this is what I need. Okay, I'm gonna grab like this shade from this little Kylie palette called Thriving. Okay, so I'm basically going in with a shade like this to blend out the edges of the dark brown. I mean, that's looking pretty good. I would say. So basically we have the shadow all laid out and it's actually looking really pretty so far. I'm now gonna add in the nice like little shimmery portion on the lid. And now I'm just gonna grab a little glitter pot. This one's from e.l.f. We just used this in our affordable makeup video and I'm obsessed with it. It was literally like $4. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this little e.l.f. glitter right on the center of the lid to really make it pop. I mean, you guys, look at the material. Look at the material. You should be going home You can anyway. be the judge of it. Oh, she is gorgeous. Oh my. <coughs> and now it's gonna be time to add on the black. Just starting off with a little bit of black eyeshadow, just outlining the outer edges. And then just going back in with a little bit more brown to blend that out. And now last but not least, I'm just gonna grab a black liquid liner to just outline the very edges of all of the black. Now just grabbing a concealer, I'm just gonna grab a really tiny little angled brush and just do any little cleanup on the outside edges of the black. So now that that is all on there, I'm just gonna grab a little black eyeliner and I'm gonna put some black in my waterline, which I literally never do. Now it looks like the line is like whoosh, continuing, 
That's what we want. And now our very, 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 very last step of the eyeshadow portion is gonna be to grab our wing liner one last time, say a prayer, and we're gonna add one additional line right below this wing, just like this. All right, you guys, so that is the eyeshadow on one eye all complete. Obviously, we still have the lashes and everything else to finish off the look, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the other eye symmetrical first, and then I'll be right back to finish off the rest of this look. And that means that it's time to move on to lashes and mascara. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes just like always. And then for my lash, I'm just gonna pop on a super simple little dro- Hello? Hello? <laughs> there we go. Then for my lash, I'm just gonna pop on a super simple little drugstore half lash. Oh, like nobody can tell me that that is not the prettiest lash you've ever seen. You really can't. Isn't it giving? It's giving. All right, you guys, and last but not least, I'm gonna finish off the look with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. All right, you guys, well, I think that is this euphoria, smoky, graphic, a beautiful makeup look inspired by Wonder Levon, all Stringy. complete. You guys, I am literally obsessed with how this turned out. Oh my God, I just changed into this cute little Mugler top, which I feel like is really matching the vibe of like this entire look overall. I really feel like this is something Maddie would wear. And I had so much fun recreating this look. It was a little bit more challenging than I originally thought, but as long as you take your time and you're patient, you guys could definitely create this look at home. And I would love to see if you are able to rock it as well. So I'm gonna wipe off this makeup look and I'll be right back to start off makeup look number two. All right, you guys, so we are back with a clean base back on, ready to build on top of and create something beautiful. And we are ready for makeup look number two. Now this look, I am really, really excited about because we're actually not even really recreating a real makeup look. It's from a real makeup artist, don't get me wrong. Her username is Vanya.ye or Ye. Um, and she does do amazing makeup looks, but she also does these really beautiful artistic face charts. And she tagged me in this one and I just thought it was like the most stunning, gorgeous, abstract thing that like I've ever seen. And I really want to create this on my face. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna grab a few different like rainbow palettes. Mine, the Stacey Marie, oops. My and the Stacey Marie one, and we're just gonna see what we can kind of come up with here. I'm gonna start with a red. <laughs> so this basically goes like. He has such a way with words. Okay, that looks kind of good. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of blue, and we're gonna put that right next door to our little pink. Then we need to go in with another little brush like that and do some bright neon orange. Okay, and then the same type of situation with a little bit of a yellow. Now that I have the shadow laid down, I think I'm gonna go over top of the shadow with some paint to accentuate some of the colors and bring them and bring them out more and then it'll kind of further like that watercolor look. Whenever I do these looks, it's so like, it is hard because they always look crazy until the very end when they come together. Like, I don't think I like this, but like maybe I will. But do I want to spend another hour doing the other side of my face only for it to turn out bad? It looks so pretty on the face chart and I really feel like I'm just not doing a good job of like actually making it look pretty. So I think I'm going to now cut and try to get the other eye to the same place off camera. And maybe when I come back, it'll look good. I don't know. I'm not eliminating that thought from the universe. So I'll be back soon. I just don't know how I feel about this. Thank you, Trevor. We're gonna go ahead and just finish off this look and really hope for the best. Maybe you guys will like it. I don't know. I'm sure I'll be getting comments down below regardless. So let's just go ahead and curl the lashes for our natural next step of the routine. Also, before I do that, I need to add blush on my nose. I'm really feeling like this look needs a little pinky nose. Oh, some mascara. And here I go again with a little basic girly lash. And last but not least for this questionable makeup look, I'm just gonna do a nice little reverse Ombre lip. Gloss on top, we're calling this a day. I'm, I've had enough. I can't seem to find one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, and our very last step of our routine, as always, is going to be, thank God, setting our face in place even though we might not want to. All right, sisters, well, the finishing touch is all on. That is this finished makeup look inspired by the face chart by Vanya Ye, all complete. I 
still don't know how I'm feeling about this one. <laughs> I feel like now that it's all complete and like the lashes and lips and like top are all on and like cute together. It's not the worst makeup look that I've ever done, but it also just doesn't really compare to how magical and beautiful the original face chart was. Obviously when you're doing art in digital formats online, you're able to create effects and techniques and colors and vibrancies that you're not necessarily able to completely mimic when it comes to makeup. But I feel like we did get close. So I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you think that I killed it? Or do you think that this is a complete flaw? Let me know. I guess without further ado though, it is time to wipe it all off after all that hard work and finally move on to our last and final look. All right, you guys, so we are back with our base already back on, ready for look number three. And as you guys can see, my base is looking a little bit different than normal. We have about half my face looking, you know, beautiful and gorgeous and the other half looking a little bit crazy, but don't worry, it's all gonna come together when it comes to this third look, which is going to be inspired by the new Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man No Way Home? Or what is it? Spider-Man Only Way Home? Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> So if you couldn't guess by me not even knowing the name, I have never seen a single Marvel movie. I haven't. I know that majority of people in the universe love the Marvel movies, the Spider-Mans, the, the, is Batman Marvel or is that DC? Okay. I am more of like a horror movie thriller, sometimes like fantasy type of situation. I am just not really like a superhero type of girl. Point being, I have not seen the brand new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Although I have seen on social media that everyone's obsessed with it. It is crazy, it is viral. There's a lot of cool scenes in it. I'm not gonna do any spoiler alerts literally because I can't. But even though I haven't seen the movie, I am gonna be doing a Spider-Man No Way Home look today. I got tagged in a ton of different Spider-Man looks and I just want to basically take like the best elements from all of them and create a really cool look today. There's this one from the really cool artist, Sarah underscore Skek. There's this one from L Makeup. And there's also this one from Ferrana Rida. And as you guys can see, I already have half my face done and the other half I have my brow blocked out. That is because we are gonna be doing a Superman. Oh my God, Superman. <sighs> I am gonna get dragged. The first thing that we're going to do, you guys, now that we have our brow blocked, we're gonna be doing like a gorgeous little eye on this look, but we're gonna sketch out like the rest of the face first, just so we kind of know where everything is like going, you know? Just like mapping out the vibes. Like that, right? Lewis, I need your help. We're gonna leave that for right now and we're gonna come back to that whole situation later. Before we do this whole like artistic, cause that's gonna get like messy and dirty and stained, I'm just gonna do a gorgeous simple little eye on this little eyeball first. Just gonna put this right up into the crease, just laying down a nice little like wash of red, nothing crazy. Just like that, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Love their shadow. Now just grabbing a little bit of Boutique, the darker maroon, and it's gonna deepen that up just the slightest little bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to cut the creasey. We're gonna have a little bit of cola, the dark blue, and put that right in this outer corner. And then a little bit of brother next to it just to blend it out. All right, you guys, so that is like the glam eye all complete. And obviously we're gonna add lashes and mascara, but I'll do that at the end of the look. That way I don't have to just feel that heaviness throughout the entire makeup process because we still have obviously quite a lot to go. So let's get on to some art. So before I lay any paint down on the face, I basically need to create like the depth and dimension and shadows on the rest of the face first. Anytime there's like a line, it's gonna go right below it, just like this, creating like a shadow. This is called an illusion, Miss Girl. Okay, now see how looking at this already, it looks like this part of my face is like on top of this part of my face because of the shadow? No, maybe not. <laughs> so now that that is all mapped out, okay, we're gonna go in with some white paint and create the Spider-Man eye. And this is why we had the brow obviously covered in the beginning of the look because we're just gonna go right over top of it. The paint that I used did dry all the way down, which is great, but I am just gonna set it using a little bit of translucent powder just so it doesn't feel like sticky or gross on the eyelid. And now it is the time that I'm sure you have all been waiting for and that I have been dreading. I'm gonna paint my face red. Um, I'm just gonna grab a face paint. I'm gonna use the flash palette for this just because I actually don't want the paint to dry down for once because I need some time to like work with it and figure out like what I wanna do. <sighs> So now the red is all on, so I have to set this in place too. Actually, do I wanna, maybe I'll like contour a little bit first. Just cause Spider-Man can be a little glam, why not? Now we're gonna set this in place using some more powder. Ah! That scared me. So now we're gonna add some dimension back into our Spider-Man. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of our white paint. And we're just gonna start adding some fun little highlights around the edges, right opposite of where we did the shadows. So now that we have the base all laid out, we need to draw in the web lines. And this is where Spider-Man really comes to life. This is like the signature iconic Spidey suit. So we're gonna grab some black liner and really say a prayer here because this is going to be difficult. Oh my God, work. 
That's what Spider-Man said when he first put on his suit. <laughs> so now that I finally have everything like outlined, looking gorgeous, looking good, I'm just gonna add a few more white highlights underneath the webs. Obviously we still have the lashes, lips, and all that stuff left. So let me go ahead and do my final touches and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. All right, you guys, after some finishing touches and one final outfit change, I swear to God, this video is like a fashion show in and of itself. <laughs> that is finally the Spider-Man No Way Home inspired look all complete. You guys, I actually really, really like how this turned out. I'm not gonna lie. I was very, very nervous for this, just being that I haven't really seen the movie. I didn't really understand the references or how to actually even achieve this makeup look today. But I honestly feel like after actually putting this on my face, I need to just devote some time, devote an entire weekend, watch the entire movie series and get into it because I am low-key obsessed and I hope that you guys are as well. And on that note, you guys, I think that wraps up our recreated follower makeup looks video for today. I had so much fun doing these looks, you guys. It was not even funny. I have missed doing this series so, so much. It has been over a year since the last episode, but it was so nice to just sit down and play with some makeup. And I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed the final products. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below to share your love and support. So much time and work went into this video, so I would really appreciate it. And also as well, make sure you click that subscribe button and come join the family, as well as that bell icon so you never miss an upload. If you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, they're all just James Charles. By the way, make sure you guys go double tap these Instagram photos when they go live. They're going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I love you and I will see you in the next Next one. Do you like that? That was. Spider. Wow. Yeah. Brian can edit a web covering the camera. Okay, bye.